G'day, I'm Patrick from Douglas Fur Design. Welcome to the Router Bits. The rain's really picked up today, so I'm gonna stay inside and keep making some videos for you. I'm going to have a look at these edge bead moulding bits. This is the largest one in the set. Uh, and I want to create something similar to what you would have on a handrail, on, on the stairs or a balustrade, using this large bit. The smaller ones can just be used for other decorative functions. The setup of this is pretty simple. It is a large bit, so I've turned the speed on my router down a fraction. Um, I'm going to lock that in place, as you normally would. I'm going to put in a larger throat plate because it's a 50mm router bit and it wouldn't fit in the smaller one. You can grab a pack of these from uh, Timbercon or wherever you got your router table. Okay, drop that down. On this table, I have to do a bit of adjustment first on the router before I can drop it using the uh, the hide mechanism on this. And the way we want to set this is we want the underside of this top tooth to match up perfectly with the top edge or the, the height, the full thickness of the of the stock, and that's going to give us a perfectly round profile without a little cut in or cut in or a little square line there. Alright, now this does have a little guide wheel on it, but that's not really useful for what we're doing because the timber's going to be lower than that wheel. So to set the depth, I'm just going to line up the furthest, uh, furthest position of this blade with the fence. So the final depth that we're going to get to will be set by placing the ruler against the deepest part of that cut, but because we're removing so much timber in, in one go, I'm going to do this in a few passes. So I'll just bring that further forward to start with. And because this is just soft pine, I'm going to do it in two passes, but if you're using something really tough or really hard, you might want to do more. And you'll just have to gauge that depending on the material that you're using. All right, so we're ready for our first pass. I'm going to do this on both sides because I want a round, rounded handrail on both sides. And then we'll have to set the depth again and do both sides again. We've done our first pass, so now we're just going to reset the depth, the final depth that we're after. And we'll do a pass on both sides again. So I'm just aligning the ruler with the deepest part of that router bit, and then aligning that with the fence. We're ready to go.
All right, so we've created our handrail. It looks fantastic. The uh, second pass was taking off a little bit more wood than I would have liked, so next time I'd take a bit more off in that first pass because the first pass didn't end up actually taking too much off. Um, but you could use this horizontally, attach that onto whatever um, structure we use, you were using underneath, or you could use it vertically as well. If you're using thinner stock, there's a couple of different sizes of these. Uh, just really simple and handy. You can grab these bits at Timbercon um, on their website or in either of their stores. 